Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. It seems like uh, no weapon is uh, perfect except the HIMARS, uh, the Patriot, uh, probably the F-16s, 35s, and um, we'll see. As of now, I got these ones prepared for you. But those are all American, so sorry. We have the, this um, British missile, uh, Storm Shadow, that was shot down or it just uh, was defective. And now uh, guess uh, who's looking at it with magnifying glasses? <laughs> Correct, the Russians. Mm, oh well, anyway, I guess the Russians are saying uh, like this. All right, confirmed. Okay, confirmed. <laughs> I think that's how they look at it. It's not like, oh, ah, oh, what's going on here? I don't think they're going to be like that. They're going to be like, oh, okay, all right. Huh? Look at these guys. Not bad. <laughs> now let's see this little article here. Crashed storm shadow missile fall into Russian hands. War zone today, July 5th, 2023. This is the part of the missile, half or the whatever remain of the back of it. And it says that the Storm Shadow air launch cruise missile that was donated, donated, who paid for it? And you, my British friends, congratulations by the United Kingdom to Ukraine. So, see, people are always generous with other people's money. So here, uh, the British government donated that in your name <laughs> with your money. So they donated. They're good-hearted people. What do you know? Go and work. Pay your taxes and, and go and consume. So, the Storm Shadow Air launched cruise missile that was donated by the United Kingdom to Ukraine has reportedly fallen into Russian hands in a partially intact state. The missile, which missiles which are launched from Suhoi 24 fencers using adapted pylons from now retired RAF Tornado strike jets, are the longest range weapon provided to Ukraine and have been used in the fight against Russia's invasion since early May 2023. You have to say it, boy, because the war occurred last year, and last year in May, it was still war. The images out of the conflict zone show a storm shadow that either mechanically failed or was brought down by enemy fire in a field. In a field, with its real fuselage nearly fully intact, its broach penetrated, tandem warhead and other components can be seen laying nearby too. We don't know if this is the first time this has happened or if this is the most complete example, but it is the first that has been publicly documented. So here is some uh, extra. I told you there with the paper <laughs> and the cigarette is like, okay, it's got the, no, I thought it was bloody. Anyway, could be. So here it is this and that let's move on the technological risk of a storm shadow falling into russian hands is well known and certainly factored heavily into the united kingdom's decision to provide them to ukraine the types used in syria has already set a precedent but the theater is quite different compared to ukraine there is no access into russian controlled terrain or airspace in ukraine the storm shadows are being used to strike high-value targets deep inside Russian-controlled territory that is heavily defended. Losing some due to enemy fire and malfunction is a certainty. Okay, so this is just justifying this. We have, we have ever seen indicators that other high-end capabilities have been employed to help ensure the survival of these prized weapons as they make their way to their targets. Still, losing one largely intact is not a welcome development. The, the Storm Shadow has some low observable stealth features that reduce its signature to enemy air defense, especially from the frontal aspect. 
the materials used in its construction and the design concepts therein would be of interest and is its warhead design would be as well its engine would also likely be examined for general intelligence intelligence value but its electronics and primarily its targeting system would be of greatest interest all right so it seems like this is the little guy over here and uh, we can see that here too now let's go um they show us more uh, okay it says in fact russia may already been reacting to storm shadows automatic target recognition system and to the possibility that other western missiles that use similar arrangements may show up in the future independent naval warfare blah, 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 blah. okay let's see how old are these things all right um let's see how old they are all right so we can uh, assess maybe the russians already know this thing for a long time and these are just uh, you know thinking that oh my god uh, we're so good at it. So let's see when they were designed. They were designed already. They were since 2000 in service since 2003. So don't you think that in 20 years? Ah, I mean yeah, they change things. It's true. They uh, you know, but this was in services 20 years ago. Don't you think that this missile uh, has uh, no more answers uh, um, or whatever questions for the Russians to ask? But hey, what do I know? I, this is just my. Uh, uh, impression or assessment of this nevertheless um, I didn't have any doubt that uh, they will be eventually hit or hit from the first day the same thing with the high Mars the same thing with the Patriot systems um, I have an article uh, already ready I don't know if I should just make a video on it or not but I will just give you uh, the information here easily uh, the Ukrainians claim that no high Mars defense system was hit by the russians yet do you believe that i okay just so uh, we use uh, sign language <laughs> all right um it's been i think a year since the uh, ukrainians received the high mars and the russians did not hit one okay <laughs> must be invincible and remember when it was the patriot system Again, um, in Moscow, in, Moscow, in um, Kiev, no, it was not hit, not even, that one can, and yeah, it was a little bit scratchy. Again, my, my friends, this is uh, propaganda, and this is not propaganda, this is disinformation, because they know it, and they say it. Do you have evidence to, uh, to um, contradict that? Yes, there is evidence. The Russians provide all kind of evidence now. If that's unacceptable because it's this, is that, all right, we can use logic. And I don't think that, uh, I don't think, I'm 99% certain that uh, this um, High Mars and the Patriot could be hit and were hit or will be hit. It's they, same, same, they say the same, they say the same thing because it's about money and they have to be sold on the market. So... Uh, this is a testing ground and a commercial in Ukraine. It's a commercial for these weapons uh, uh, manufacturing companies. But so storm shadows down, probably not the first one. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.